evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Aragon Bowl Room here in Chicago, Illinois, for tonight's main event. 12 rounds, middleweights going at it between Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Joker Ray Robinson. San Francisco, fighting out of the red corner, the Bronx Bowl, Jake All right, gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Let's touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Sugar Ray Robinson once again going up against the raging bull, Jake LaMotta. Now, LaMotta was the first man to put a blemish on his record. That can stay with a fighter, right? Yeah, that can stay with a fighter, <laughs> but maybe not a legend. And this man is a legend. Sugar Ray Robinson, and that's what makes him so great. The part that he has to forget, he'll forget, but the part that he must remember, oh boy. Not only will he remember, he'll make LaMotta pay for that. He will pick up something from that fight that he saw LaMotta do wrong, and he'll turn it around. Jake LaMotta with a counterpunch. <laughs> Counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Ray. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Targeted counterpunch by Sugar Ray Robinson. We've become well conditioned to that term, pound for pound best, but that term was first applied to Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah, we had heavyweight champion in the world, but there had to be something, there had to be a classification for Ray because he was so special. He was very special in so many areas. I mean, won so many fights in a row. His winning streaks are just legendary. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Sugar Ray Robinson stunned and he is hurt. <laughs> Boy, what guts, what guts to stay in there and gather yourself again after he was taking a beating. Yeah, what guts, what instincts, and what a set of whiskers. Good job protecting himself. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. Robinson's doing a beautiful job here early on of counterpunching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counterpunching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. So we come to the end of the round, and that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner. And they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing and remember what set up those big shots. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. If you just focus on the fight, we'll take care of the swell. Here we go, round two is underway. Sugar Ray Robinson's looking all right here as we start this round, but it was just a round to go that he got tagged. He was stunned there in that last round. What do you expect from him here, Teddy? Well, I think he's starting to gain a little bit of confidence because, you know, now he's been left alone a little bit, and that, see, that's the danger. His opponent is letting him get himself healthy again. And if a guy who's been hurt starts to gain confidence, all of a sudden, you have a tougher fight than you ever thought you were gonna have on your hands. A huge hook to the body by Sugar Ray Robinson. Teddy, give me a scouting report on Sugar Ray. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he 
he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Oh, look at that. They exchange hooks. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Robinson showing you a little defensive skill there. Right? They'll move away from that punch. Right back to it to the head. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Sugar Ray Robinson's movement really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Blocks that punch. Wow! Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Able to get rid of that one. Holy cow! Superb right hand lands home by Sugar Ray Robinson. Good block. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He's bleeding from his cheek. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. On the mark, the counterpunch by Ray. Sugar Ray Robinson's commitment to being judicious and effective really worked out well there. The punch stats prove it. Let's get on this one. I'll press on that. I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punishment. Don't worry about it. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Nostradamus to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by Ray. Oh, look at that. They exchange hooks. Sugar Ray Robinson has been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it, and then he's letting the punches go. He's letting the hands follow. Always good to have Sugar Ray Robinson in action. Originally born, his birth name, Walker Smith Jr. I think Sugar Ray's a little more fitting for him, Teddy. Yes, it is, because he just has a sweet, sweet style. You can see there's blood on his cheek. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down, you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh, boy, what a round. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Robinson's proving to be elusive. Yeah. 
Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Parries the punch. Comes back with a hook. Last ten seconds of round number three. Good defensive skill. the fourth round. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. I suppose if you're his opponent, you just keep doing what you're doing. Keep going after it. That cut is there for a reason. Why change anything? If you're the guy who caused the cut, yeah, the first thing you think, Joe, is you keep going after it, but you don't want to get carried away either. You don't want to go headhunting to the point where maybe he makes an adjustment and you should be going downstairs to the body, but you're seeing that, that blood, you're seeing that red flag there, and you keep going upstairs when maybe you should be going downstairs visiting that body a little. Teddy, in this game, so many fighters are influenced by those who they look up to. In the case of Sugar Ray Robinson, he was a big fan of Henry Armstrong. Yeah, Hammer and Hank. Henry Armstrong, one of the greatest fighters of all time. He put his head on your chest and he just windmilled. He never stopped punching. Sugar Ray Robinson was more finesse than that. You know, he did it a different way. He didn't put his head on your chest and just back you up all the time. But you knew when you were in the ring with Sugar Ray Robinson who the boss was. Carries that punch away. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Targeting the hooks on each man. Oh, Sugar Ray Robinson's in bad shape. Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. That's a good block by Jake Lamont. Teddy, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you'd want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. Sending shots to the midsection. He has taken a lot of punishment here. Well, the special fighters find a way, even when it's desperate like this, to survive. He's got to find that way right now. Scoring counter punch by Ray. <laughs> Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Lamada's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. And they come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with your ringside, and boy, oh boy, are they putting on a show tonight here. Well, kind of what you expected. These styles kind of told you that this is what you were going to get. Facing off again to start another round in a fight in which they've introduced each other time and time again, swapping leather. Oh, that's good stuff. Fires right back with one of his own. Good work by Jake Lamada. catching one by Jake Lamada. Good block by Ray. 
Sugar Ray Robinson's doing really well here in these middle rounds. Now, I know a lot of the old school guys don't like his style, but his raw athleticism and his way about him is winning the fight. Yeah, he breaks all the rules, but you know what? He makes wrong right. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Jake LaMotta's nose is starting to bleed. Locks away that headshot. Well, he's just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing 101. Oh! Targeting that head and landing with a bomb. to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Good combination to the body. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Another hook by Sugar Ray Robinson. Good, smart, tactical move here, backing up his opponent against the ropes. Both men trading hooks. My headshot blocked. Both men accurate with their hooks against each other. Able to dismiss that body shot. End of the round there. A round in which we did see the knockdown and Teddy when a fighter comes back to the corner having just been floored. Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing on them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So, put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Don't worry, we'll take care of that cop. Get the cop So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close, he could get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then, he could kill a little of the clock, survive. Good combination by Sugar Ray Robinson. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Lamada blocks that punch. Robinson's coming up with the answer, avoiding that punch. Ever since that knockdown, to me, he just looks like a fighter who's just drifting, who's just going through the motions and lingering now in this fight. Yeah, to me, he looks like that vacuum salesman that just had the door slammed in his face. You know, he's got to go back and knock on that door again. He's going to get his sale. He's going to land. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. So this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're going to be remembered. One hook deserves another. Wow. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Robinson. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. That's a good block by Jake Lamada. Oh, Lamada's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time?
gonna be partying tonight. A knockout victory. It doesn't get better than that. Your winner, the champion, Red Robinson. Sugar Ray Robinson is your winner by knockout, Teddy. When we came in wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin, we found out. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.